In this video, we're going to talk about how to create a Telegram chatbot. In order to do that, there are three steps. Step number one, get a bot created in Telegram. So you log on to your Telegram app, use bot father and, and create a Telegram bot for yourself. And then you understand the API calls. So I'm going to tell you the API calls basic telegram api calls which needs to be used and the third is write the code in python to use the apis so go to web.telegram.org and search for bot father and in the bot father you type slash start this is going to give you a list of commands to create a bot so to create a bot this is under slash new bot if you click on it it says all right a new bot how are we going to call so whenever you choose a name for a bot it should end with a bot bot so i'm going to say bdcs underscore bot now, so this is my name of the bot and now it asks me to choose the username for the bot. Let's assume that we write the same username. And then it's going to give you a token. Please note that after the video I am going to remove this bot so you cannot use this token going forward copy the token and this is going to be your token to call the APIs. I'm going to tell you how to call the APIs now. Once you copied the token, please use this token going forward. Now if you search for PDCS bot, you would see the bot is now created. Now you can name the bot anything, but please note that the last name of the, or, or it should end with a bot now you can type anything and you can get started with your chat now let's understand the apis used to hit the telegram telegram application so remember the token you 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 got so you would type https api.telegram.org forward slash bot this is the standard api.telegram.org forward slash bot is the standard and then you would paste the entire token here you got the token and then you would say get updates so paste this entire URL copy it and paste it in a new browser and you would see that the <clears throat> a message is displayed ok true result this would more mean that your bot is functional now let us type or let us start chatting with this bot I would say hello and if I go back to the URL and refresh it you can see the text hello coming in from the first name and the last name please note the ID this is the ID copy and paste now I'm going to create another API call for the same bot but this time I'm going to send a message so using this chat ID I'm going to send a message. I would say hi from bot. And whenever you use this URL and paste it over here, this message is going to be directly posted onto your Telegram. 
you see hi from bot so this is the basic api call to get an update and respond back using an id now let's write this in a python script now this is the python code which we have written in order to talk to the bot so the token remember the token which we got from the bot bot father from the telegram app and then we are going to create that url remember this url again so it is api.telegram.org forward slash bot and it's gonna append the token so this is the token which we got and then let's use few functions which we have defined the first function defined is get json from url second is get telegram update so get telegram update is very similar to this get updates the first url we or the first api call which we did to get the update and this is a function which i have written in order to respond back good morning good afternoon and good evening uh, you can you can go through this code once i share it on a url uh, on the on the link in the video description of the of the youtube and then you would see send telegram message so send telegram message is going to send the message using a chat id now let's run through the entire code first of all you would define a main and you would call the main function from here once it's called it's going to use the url please note that the url is defined on the top of the code using the token you would need to get your own token <coughs> next while true that means while the system is up and running or the the code is running you will get the updates so you would say get telegram updates using the update id now if there is an update then echo all echo all in the sense send a message back to the update that's all very simple i repeat you would you would first initiate a main and then get the update using get update if there is some message then you call a send message program passing in some kind of a text greetings now let's run it and see its usage right click run telegram bot and then let's interact with this so let me just arrange it a minute so i'm going to say hello message to and you can see that hello message to has come up here and it's going to respond back with the bot is going to respond me back this is a telegram bot replying back to your message hello message to now let's do it again uh let's type some more message here so i'll say hello message 3 you can see here that the hello message 3 is coming from bi consultant this is my id and this is replying back to hello message 3 so you can see th how the bot is responding to the message i know at this point in time it is responding back with the same message but you know you can change it based on more uh, use case which you think now let's delete the bot let's delete the bot which we created so i'm going to go here and i'm going to say uh, delete bot and i'm going to type the bot bdc s underscore bot
okay so it says you selected the BDCS bot to be deleted are you sure and you have to send this yes I am totally sure message and the bot is deleted so I deleted the bot which I created in this video so please create your own bot and do this magic the code is available in the video description section below thank you for watching